Good morning everybody. I have in front of me here a 400 watt high energy wind turbine. And uh, what we're going to be doing is going through and changing the, uh, the bearings. Now I've already done this. I've already had it apart and put it back together. But I'm going to run through the process. The first thing, <coughs> you're going to need some tools. You're going to need, you know, uh, some sort of pliers. Uh, you're going to need a couple of flathead type screwdrivers and you're going to use that to uh, separate the uh, separate the segments and a four millimeter uh, four millimeter allen wrench and you'll extract these screws which hold it to the body and uh, once you get all of those apart now on this particular model uh, three of the bolts I had to cut with an angle grinder because they uh, they actually uh, they use like a uh, it's not a Loctite but they use a glue when they put them together and uh, three of those were really hard set in there and after I've got all the segments separated I then um, I then pulled them out of the uh, out of the uh, uh, body of the housing here okay you're also going to need a soldering gun I recommend a soldering gun, not a soldering iron. Uh, soldering gun's going to get a lot hotter than, say, uh, one of these guys. This is not going to do the job. You're going to need something big. We're dealing with 10 gauge wire. So, so the uh, you'll also need a puller, and this is uh, comprised of two different pullers, a small and a large. You see the uh, I've I've taken the uh, the arms off of the small one and put them on the big one so that I could get the extra reach and uh, uh, they're a little more nimble as far as reaching under and grabbing everything. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, I, I've already uh, taken the bolts out and I separated the head from, from the body. Um, and uh, what we're going to do is uh, is now extract the, uh, the top. Oops, oops, if I go the right direction. Now the reason these uh, these bearings went prematurely because uh, he he went <clears throat> he he took the wind generator down and he went to uh, service it for the year and that was just to go ahead and put a uh, um, to put a uh, uh, a coat of paint and such on the blades he wanted to protect it and clean it and such and. Uh, his location, he has a bunch of a uh, bunch of uh, trees in in uh, in the vicinity, and he was getting uh, you know some some spots on the blade. So he clean he wanted to clean it with bleach, and when he did that, what happened was um, he accidentally got bleach down in the uh, in the front section here, in between the a shaft and the front nose piece and that caused uh, the bearing the front bearing to uh, to seize up and there we go okay so now we've got the <clears throat> you have to pull that because that's attached to the bearing okay the front nose piece the bearing sits inside of here now in here I'll bring it. I'll get a close-up of this to you. <clears throat> now, in here is uh, is your stator, your windings, your uh, this is there's permanent magnets in here, and uh, this is the front bearing. Uh, there's also one located <clears throat> right here in the back, and it looks similar. The inside of that looks similar to this except for it's got a hole in it and the, and the wires come through. Now we'll have to uh, get this jacket pushed back in there uh, before we make final preps to put it all back together. The other thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and mark all your segments uh, so that when you put it back together everything is, is exactly as it was when it was built from the manufacturer. And this uh, this little section it goes points down. That's on the very bottom when you put it together, that little that little hole. Okay, so uh, what you do is you use again the puller, and we'll go through the process with that. <clears throat> 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 
you'll want to have somebody with you when you go to separate the uh, the back segment and the uh, and and getting this out of there. It it's it will grab and pull. Uh, if your fingers are in the way, they will get smashed. Those magnets are strong, so you want to have several hands on this thing when you go to separate it. But when you go to separate the back half, what you'll do is you'll just go ahead and stick a, a screwdriver in there and tap it and slowly separate the two and then get it separated. And then <clears throat> after you've get, got it out, then what you do is you take your, your uh, puller again and get the, uh, get the fingers to grab your bearings like so and again if you have an extra set of hands it uh, definitely makes things a lot easier okay and what I did when we did this the first day this was on there pretty hard I couldn't get it off it put a lot of pressure I didn't want to uh, uh, over torque anything so what I did is I put a little bit of uh, a PB blaster I have PB blaster on the bearings front and back and the following day which was yesterday uh, it came apart with ease it just pulled right off like it was supposed to now this particular bearing is a 52 millimeter by 25 millimeter by 15 millimeter that's 52 by 25 by 15 I, uh, I called the manufacturer and he could get me replacement bearings but it was going to take like thirty dollars to ship them so I searched local and I found these SKF bearings they are uh, it's a 6205 series which is and it's a double seal um, from, there's a seal on the front seal on the back and uh, SKF uh, according to the uh, distributor said that these were the uh, the best bearings on the market I spent about uh, twenty dollars each for these bearings I could have got a cheaper set um, and had them and waited a day and saved myself maybe ten bucks, but you know I just went ahead and got them. So, so this is uh, this is what the old bearing. This is the one that was seized up. You can see some some uh, some rust on it, and that's due to again the chemical getting down in there and and, and uh, corroding prematurely corroding this bearing. Otherwise, this bearing would have not had any issues for quite some time. Um, I'm sure of that. Um, Here's, here was the back bearing, and it still it still has a lot of life left into it. So I'm going to hold on to this in case of emergencies, because that's still a good bearing. All right. <clears throat> a couple other things you're going to need. When you go to put the bearings back on, you're going to need, what I used was a uh, uh, one-inch uh, black pipe nipple, and that slips right over the top and rests right on the the inner part of the bearing perfectly um, and then you'll just you'll slowly tap that on until you get the bearing seated you'll do the same with the back and then uh, and then again when you go to put this back together you're going to need several hands because uh, you're going to first of all <coughs> first of all you'll set the back plate down and then you will um, um, then you'll put the the stator or the, the, this this body here on and get it lined up and uh, you'll have to um, maneuver these wires through there so they get in there just like they're supposed to um, and then uh, and then insert your center or you can go ahead and get your uh, get your your center installed and then you can um, have somebody hold the body and while you fish the wires through and, and then uh, and then put the body down doesn't matter either way however you feel uh, it's going to be the easiest for you. This is, this is one of the hard, hard parts here is uh, getting, getting this uh, jacket to, uh, to be where it needs to be. So we want to make sure that we have some extra uh, protection on these wires.
The other thing we had to do here is uh, to separate the to separate the uh, uh, the head from the body was to unsolder these wires. And again, I used the large soldering gun to do that with. And what we're going to do is uh, put new uh, butt connectors on there, which you'll need 10 gauge butt connectors, the yellow ones. Okay, that's in there protecting that. Okay, you'll need these. Uh, you'll need three of them. You got three phase AC coming out of this thing. And what we did was uh, we phase marked it so that we knew we could put the uh, wires back exactly like they were. See, we got yellow. And then this is not, you know, code phase uh, marked, but uh, just for our purposes. So, uh, so we marked them so that we could get the wires back in and uh, uh, connected properly. <clears throat> so my next step here is to uh, unsolder these three butt splices, butt connectors, and. Uh, I'm going to take the jackets off of these ones so that I, after I crimp them, I can solder it all back together. So that's my next step, and then we'll uh, then we'll work on getting the head put back on the body, and uh, and then we'll go on from there. So I'm going to stop this video, and uh, I'll start a new one when it comes to uh, getting all this soldered back together. All right, thanks a lot. We'll see you guys on the next video.